Red hair like hers is so very rare. Her hair seems ethereal, rather like the sky when it is on fire with the setting sun. Adolf Hitler says as he brushes his hand across Thomasina Ware's one month old little head. Hitler carries the baby around the room, showing her off to his generals and officers. Dora and Colonel Sir Edward Ware are amazed. They are on a July 1935 political mission from the Baldwin government to view ships and armed forces under the Naval Treaty. Dora is taken aside by Dr. Goebbels. He asks her to sign papers to have her daughter's portrait hung at the newly built Berghof. When Dora gets back to her room, she and Edward can't find their daughter anywhere. They race about the Karen Hall estate. They hear a plashing fountain. There on a bench surrounded by bronze warriors sits Adolf Hitler with Thomasina on his lap. He is making baby showers. She is cooing. From then on, a whirlwind blows the little girl toward Germany. Dora has her friend Jane babysit Thomasina while she and Edward fly to Jerusalem to put down a revolt. Representatives of the German Embassy in London, Helmut and Helga von Wessel, show up on Jane's doorstep and invite her to accompany them back to Germany. Jane plans the vacation there anyway, so they all fly together. Jane and Thomasina end up at the Berghof. Thomasina accompanies Hitler to the Nuremberg National Socialist Party rally. Hitler writes Dora a letter. Your daughter's green eyes flashed when she caught sight of the blood flag, waving in the breeze only a couple of inches away. She gave a little shriek of joy and moved her hands about excitedly. She laughed in delight and reached for it. When she caught hold of it, she had such a look of triumph in her eyes that it was awe-inspiring. The soldiers erupted into a spontaneous cheer. We all thought God was speaking to us from on high in the form of a little child. I saluted your daughter. The band did not have to be told. They played Deutschland, Uber, Hollis. Hitler does not return Thomasina until Dora and Edward host a diplomatic reception for Ambassador von Ribbentrop at Warehouse in October. That night after dinner, Dora takes the sleepy 15-month-old girl up to bed. Thomasina is wearing a golden locket with a photo of Hitler, the little girl, and a blonde lady. There is an inscription. Life is the childhood of our immortality. Hitler showers the little girl with gifts. She calls him Opa, or grandfather in German. There is nothing. Dora and Edward can do. The Prime Minister, Neville Chamberlain, tells them to do anything the cure wants in the name of peace. They must have peace at any cost. I'll remember that, Edward says, at any cost. Dora cannot help but wonder what the cost would be to them. When Neville Chamberlain goes to the Berghof in September of 1938 to negotiate the Munich Accords, Dora, Edward, and Thomasina accompany him. They ride in Hitler's motorcade to Nuremberg. The dictator has erected a statue to Thomasina clutching the blood flag. Hitler makes a speech. Every cheer, Heil Hitler! To Dora's absolute horror, they follow up with the chant, Heil Thomasina! Hitler's talk tear! A woman shouts and elbows length away. Dora and Edward look at each other. That means Hitler's daughter. A year later, Neville Chamberlain is forced to declare war on Germany when Hitler invades Poland. That ends the policy of appeasement. Hitler won't let a war separate him from Thomasina, the poster child of the Third Reich. He wants Thomasina to truly become Hitler's daughter. Read, captive at the Berghof.